It's Surf Arcade. I'm Josh. I'm Butts. And we are playing Sudeki? Sudeki? Sudekai? Sudek. Sure. <laughs> this game is is one of those games where you play and you're like, huh. Like that's the reaction you get for it. Just huh. Huh. <laughs> you have you have no idea what this game is. No one does. No one has ever heard of this game. Except for me. I played it through. Just and it's <laughs> it's alright. So uh uh yeah, you know what? Don't even tell me. Let's I'm just gonna watch. And see what we got here. Okay, I will. I will explain a little bit of it, but that's fine. This game was it made by a studio in Britain. I think it's K Climax Studios. Back at the original Xbox, uh, Microsoft was like, "We need RPGs," and so they bought this one that was supposed to be like an anime-inspired one, but they turned it oh. into a Western-style one. It's very World of Warcrafty. It looks beautiful, uh, is my first impression. Um, look I, so, right off the bat, a couple things. I'm, I'm going to just launch into a thing for a while, so, yeah, so Josh, just enjoy. So, first off, this game was made by guys because these are the main female characters. Yep. Ah. <laughs> yep. Um, you play as this is four group of people. You can switch out between them. Oh, I got the menu. Sorry. Also, yeah, one of the things I was going to say is the menu is absolutely insane. There's just so much here. Wow. Like, it's very, like, I, I think that's the, yeah, that's the level up system, even though it doesn't say so. It's just like, it's, this this, this menu is bonkers. Interesting. Um, you've got this kind of stuff. Oh, look at that sword. That sword's pretty cool. Hello. Can I switch characters? I hit the wrong button to get. Oh, no, I don't want that. <laughs> that sword's significantly less cool. <laughs> yeah. There you go. So there we go. So we've got different. Things like that. Oh, it's it's Billy Olish. <laughs> it's Billy. Like, uh, mm. <laughs> mm, mm. Wolverine character. This guy's got a metal arm. And a gun. <laughs> he does have a gun. So yeah, you can play any character. Um run around like this. Let me get let me get into combat cuz that's the other weird thing. Okay. It's <laughs> always so funny to me in an RPG when swords and guns are in the same party and I'm like, "Guys, guns Pick exist." <laughs> just uh... Yeah. Not just guns. I mean like this this world's very steampunk when you get to a certain spot, so it's like, you have giant mechs. Why are, Why am I still carrying around a sword? Okay, if you watch carefully, you can see when the enemies load up into the screen, because I'll be walking, and then I'll take, like, a little stutter step. And then... Oop, that was it. Oh. Yep, enemies. So, I'm, uh. I'm this guy right now. You can you can have different combos. So uh, uh, that does stuff. <laughs> there we go. Ah, uh, yes. Ow. Orcs Ow. and snakemen. Okay, so here's the weird thing about this game. So it's the third... If, if I do the melee characters, I'm in third person. But if uh -huh. I switch to a caster, I'm in first person. Oh! So, like, now it's a first-person shooter, because this lady's a caster. And the hitboxes on these guys are, like, huge. <laughs> you do not have to aim very well. I see. <laughs> and the last little wrinkle... Yeah, so the last little wrinkle is... If I go to this menu, time will freeze now, and I can pick, like, a super move to use. So I'll use that. Ah, so now time's oh. still freezing. And she does a little doobly doop. A doobly doo! <laughs> so it's like, it's third person and first person, and it's got this weird, like, that system going on. Let me switch to it. So the developers were just like, hey, can we can we cram a few more oh engines God, into this battle experience. system? They're like, why don't we throw all of it against the wall and see what sticks? Yeah. Where she's looking. I don't know what she's looking for. <laughs> she's stopping to smell the roses. Oh, uh, oh, I summoned a wolf buddy. Oh, good. Oh, cool. Good for me. <laughs> Yay, a friend. Everybody needs a friend. Switch to this guy. <laughs> 
And a gun! <laughs> yeah, that's the gun, yeah. Yeah, a laser gun. <laughs> Boom. From the future! It's, this game's just like, again, everything was thrown against the wall, and they were like, what does this do? Interesting. All right. See, yeah, that's the, that's the reaction. You you play this, and you're like, huh, huh, yeah. <laughs> um, huh. Some of the other things, I don't think I'll get to it, because I'm just going to fight enemies to show you that, but everyone is voice acted in the game, uh, but they all have different accents. So you'll, you'll get to a town, and you'll talk to one guy from the town, and he's got, like, a German accent. And then you'll talk to, like, his neighbor, and he'll have, like, a Scottish accent. And then you'll talk to the neighbor down the street, and then they'll have, like, this weird, just, like, Brooklyn accent. You're just like, what, what is going on in this world? Ha, huh, I see. Um, okay, can't go that way. I'm just going to find one. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like we've been, we've been talking about during this little run of Xbox games we've done. Is just, this was another one of those generations where developers were like there's the wall let's throw things at it until something sticks yeah there's enough rules that they're like okay we kind of know what we're doing but there's not enough rules that you're like okay this is a bad idea because combining a, a first person shooter and like a third person like this is just it's just weird yeah like fallout does that you can play fallout in third person but everyone's like that's yeah, you shouldn't but you can and in this game, it's like, no, you kind of have to... Like, if I want to keep everyone alive, I do need to switch over to this healer every once in a while and... Blast away. Here we go. Also, again, made yeah. by guys, because here we go. Oh, cutesy. <laughs> um, yeah, and I mean, a thing to remember, and this is something I often forget myself. This is just one oh, I... generation after, like, the N64 generation. <laughs> this yeah, is just this look... one down. Oh, oh, what is this down? Oh, big one. Big boom. <laughs> Did you try the big gun? I'm going to switch. Oh, Lord. Okay. That sword is amazing. It looks like he just made it in a spirograph and just pulled it off the page. <laughs> yeah. Like, surely that can't, like, block anything. <laughs> just goes through the hole. <laughs> I'll block it with my sword. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, he stabbed. Yeah. So, okay. <laughs> two, more, two more things about this game. Um, the strategy to beat this game, there's two strategies where it's you kind of keep everyone even because you, you can level everyone separately. It's, it's kind of one of those things. It's like Mass Effect. You can oh. level each person separately. Um, mm. But you can level them separately and just kind of coast through. And then when you get to the very end, the last boss, you are going to have a hard time. Or you level up this guy. This guy, for some godless reason, is the only character that fights the last boss. So, like, uh. if you got... If you got really good at the, you know, the shooty gun guy, too bad. This is the guy that's going to fight the last boss. The other three are just like, <laughs> go get him, Tal. And he's like, yeah, I'm going to go get him. And he goes and gets him. And that that's it. It's just so weird that they're like, nah, this this is the only important guy. So the other strategy is just level this guy until he's ungodly powerful. And then he kills everything and the rest are just kind of there to look nice. How about that? It's like, oh, Actually, uh... God. Fun fact, Kingdom Hearts, at least Kingdom Hearts 1, is the exact same way. Because, uh, even if, like, Goofy or Donald die, you don't get a game over. But if Sora dies, it's a game over. And once again, he's the only one that fights the final boss anyway. So, is the game over? Is that the same here? Can, like, your friends die, but you can't die? Uh, whoever... No, if you're... It's when all four are dead. Okay. So, like, it's it's also jarring if I'm fighting as this guy, and then suddenly he dies, and like, whoop, now you're the gun guy. You're like, oh god, I'm in first person now. Like, that's very jarring when that happens uh, to you. I could see that. I'm just like, whoa! So. <laughs> now you're the girl that's not wearing pants. Yeah, I get, yeah, made by guys. Um, and then, <laughs> the, I will never forgive this game for one of the bosses in the game is, um, it's, it, it's a monster called Behemoth. Or, or Behemoth, sorry. 
this game gets in my head. It's called a behemoth. Uh. It's spelled like behemoth. It's behemoth. And for some weird reason, the voice actor pronounced it Bahamut. Release the or behemoth. That was it. He pronounces it really weird. He goes, release the behemoth. And I'm like, I'm sorry, what did you say? Like, <laughs> that's not the way that that word is spoken. And other people in the room heard you say it and went, yeah, that's a line. We'll keep it. And so, like, I, it's unforgivable. I'm like, what? Why would you? What? I see. <laughs> can't talk to this per- oh, I can't talk to this person. Oh, Hopefully you can hear the ah. crazy voice. Yeah, all this is voice acting. I mean, like, some of the voice acting is fine. Some of it's like, oh, you were just a guy that they pulled in for a day. <laughs> like, like clearly you were a developer that was just like, I want to go to the church. Like, you had a weird voice. They were like, here, just say these two lines. Just say it. <laughs> Your voice sounds funny. Want to make a buck? Come with me to the studio. <laughs> yeah. Like, Jim, we need you to record these two lines. Like, oh, but I'm I'm a coder. I don't, Jim, we need you to record these two lines. Like, okay. <laughs> that was it. That's how Jim recorded those two lines. I've done that in public before where uh, I'll meet somebody new or, or hear somebody yeah. like overhear a stranger in public and I'll think, okay, if I ever make a video game, you're in. <laughs> Your voice sounds amazing and different. <laughs> yeah. I have to record you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Speak into this microphone. Yeah. Yeah, but it's it's you know it's, it's the Resident Evil like give it to Claire, the master of lock pickings. Like, it, mm. there's a bunch of those there too, where you're like, okay, you were just a warm body, and they needed somebody to talk. Yeah, before the standard was set by like Troy Baker and John DiMaggio, yeah, <laughs> other people whose names aren't Troy Baker. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> everyone not Troy Baker. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So like this game, it's it's got some okay parts, some stuff you're like, well, okay, but mostly this game just makes you go like, huh, okay. Like, it's just such a weird mishmash of everything. I will admit, as someone who's never heard of or seen this game before, I have to admit that in these ten minutes or so we've been playing, my if I had to sum it up, it would be, huh. <laughs> yeah, I've I played this game all the way through because I had four dollars in college and that's how much this game cost and I needed to play something. So that's how I got into this game. Um, and it's all right. Like this guy, I forgot what this guy can do, but like in the overworld, you can do different things. I think that I forgot what she can do. She could do something. I think she could like levitate things. Uh, Miss, you know, Miss Thong song here. She could climb stuff. <laughs> Because of course she can, because she's like a like a animal lady. She's like, oh, we'll give you the climbing stuff. And this guy has a jetpack. I don't think I can make it. Nope, I can't make it happen. No. So like you, it's one of those things where like you can't use their moves unless you stand in a certain spot where it's like, oh, clearly this needs a jetpack. Yes. You fly around. So you do spend a lot of the game switching back and forth between everyone, but it's just weird that they're like, yes, everyone's important. Everyone has a role. Till the main bad guy, and then it's all about this guy. It's all about Roy from Smash Brothers here. Yep. In the meantime, for uh, I'm going to call Cisco on Miss Thong song back there. I, th- I think we've got a song. <laughs> <laughs> and let's see. Do I do a little hitch? Hit. Oh, yep, there it is. <laughs> hitch. <laughs> yep. Just walking along, and I see that happen, and I'm like, ugh. Fine. Oh, it's different enemies this time, though. Little warriors. Oh, little knights. <laughs> the little swords. Hop, hop, ho! Hop, 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 hop. Sprung up from the sand, yeah. Nice. Get them. Oh, wrong, Wade into them. Smell their blood. Shoot them <laughs> in the belly. <laughs> Spears will be shaken. <laughs> swords will be smittered. A sword Steve day! Man. A red day! Nope, oh, oh, nope, nope, crap, nope. I don't think I missed him. Ah, the sun rises! <laughs> Boom, ah, I missed. Oh well. Yes. Alright, alright, thank you. You're gonna die now. This is very World of Warcrafty. I mean, I do see a lot of, like, the beginnings of MMORPGs in this. 
just in sort of the the camera and where it's positioned and and the little AOEs on the ground. Obviously, that's been a mainstay for for the decades since. You can see like yeah. Yeah. some stuff works. Like they you know they know how to make a game. It's just one of those like let's do all the things all about once. Oh, and we're done. You mentioned buying this game for four dollars because that's what you had in college. I do miss the days of just walking into a store, picking up a box for a game I've never heard of, and just going, "Let's take a chance. Let's see." That's what I did. I was like, "I've never heard of this game before. Why not?" I miss those days. That's how I discovered Front Mission Three. Was uh, I just picked up the box for Front Mission Three and went. It's you today. It's you. And it was amazing. Yeah, I got Grand Theft Auto 3 for uh, the Xbox for like $10 because I was like, well, I've got $10. Sure. And I, I just drove around and blew cars up. That's all I did. It was great. It was, and that's, that's what one of this games was. I was like, what is this? I've never heard of it. <laughs> sure, I'll play it. You can go to first person mode. There we go. And it was fine. Like for $4, I, I put 20 hours into this game and I was like, okay. It distracted yeah, me. This, fine. this looks like it's worth at least four dollars. Yeah. And possibly five or six. <laughs> six fifty on a good day. Alright, I know that yeah. they'll eventually <laughs> they'll eventually come back if I keep walking around. So you're kinda of leveling up over here? What's the uh what are you doing in the in the story at this point? No oh, heck if I know. I, <laughs> when I, when I, last time I played the timestamp for my saves was like 2006. So I'm like, I don't know, man. <laughs> Doing stuff. Oh, so you just fired up a save that you haven't touched in a decade or two. Yeah, or exactly. I was like, what is this? Huh. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> Heck if I know. <laughs> yeah, I just fa I found an area that I'm like, oh, enemies come here. Cool. I'll use this to show off the game. Nice. All these so monsters. even that's even what you did today. You just picked up the box and you were like, "I'm just gonna take a chance on <laughs> Sudeki." Yeah, pretty much. I was just like, <laughs> "Yeah, why not?" <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like the this, chutzpah. This game is all about. Yeah, why not? All right. <laughs> what what am huh. I supposed to be doing? Lady Caprine astutely sees that you are ready to finish what the four heroes began: Journey to the Void. To be reborn and to defeat the malevolent but powerful Hagio. So I guess I'm I'm kind of at the end game. Oh, oh no, that's like the overarching like. Here's what you're supposed to be doing. That that's like the defeat Ganon. Gotcha. Yeah, that sounds. Hmm. Find cat totems around the world and offer totems to the altar of Mo, in exchange for a powerful item. One totem has been offered. Oh, good, I found one. Pray to the cat god, and he will bless you with a ball of yarn. Yeah. World. Yeah. So, so there's where I'm at. <laughs> yeah. There's one. Oh, so there's three three places you can go. I think I started out here. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Little. I do like a good world map. There's a different area. The shadow world. Yeah, I'm like I'm sure. Is that what the void is? Wide. I guess. I don't know. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Sure. Sure. Heck right. if I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. I like to put myself in the shoes Why of the not? actual warriors. It's like they just fell asleep for six years and woke up and started just fighting enemies on this beach. And like the old lady walks up and she's like, so are you going to go fight the evil guy? And they're just like, the what now? <laughs> huh? Sorry, what? Yeah. <laughs> the who's the what? They get to the first town like, oh, God, where have you been? It's been six <laughs> years. Uh, let's do let's do a big. Big one, here we go. What can, uh, what can Shooty Mc... Ooh, oh! Shooty McBullet Storm. Yeah. I think I missed. Ooh. That's okay. Everything went slow-mo. <laughs> Bullet time. Yeah. yeah. They saw the Matrix and they're like, ooh, that, I want that. That was uh, everything. Literally everything that came out the year after the Matrix was like, Bullet time's going in it. Everything from video games to movies to Shrek. Soft serve ice cream. Yeah, Shrek. Shrek got it. Here's your ice cream, sir. 
Yeah. Oh, you all gonna get it. Watch. You feel lucky, but you're oh, calling down like a landing strip. Oh, it got dark. Boom. <laughs> oh. Hey. <laughs> there we go. Ow. And if I don't want that, I will. Oh, I could. Didn't know I could do that. Everyone just turns, and all the bad guys turn and look at you instantly after you finish that. They're just like, get him. What do you mean, not ready to use the skill? Use the skill! The enemies go, there he is! We have to stop him from reaching the high gone in the void! The what now? The huh? Stop me oh, yeah. from what? Yeah, um, <laughs> uh, the, we're doing that. Yep. Yep, that's where I was headed. Where is that? <laughs> so you don't want me to do that thing, huh? I think I'm gonna do <laughs> that thing. And we're done. So there you go. This is this is Sudeki. It's a it's a huh. 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 Well, on the next episode yeah. of Riff Arcade, uh we Who hope goes? you've enjoyed this. Uh let us know if there are any other hidden Xbox gems you'd like us to see I'm, I'm, and uh Spoiler alert, I'm probably not going to play this again, so... <laughs> don't ask for this. D d Josh, put up a... Uh, do not continue. Thank you. Uh, all right, so on the next episode of Riff Arcade... Huh. <laughs> Come back to reality. Keyboards, go! Huh.